Hello, it's Amelia here with part 3 of my terrain control tutorial series. It's been a while, well, not many people were interested, but more have been watching it recently, so I decided to make a third part. Anyway, this part's about configuring biomes and all the different settings in biome configurations. Pretty much, this is, in case you're wondering how terrain control works, there's the world setting file, which determines all the settings for your main world, and then there's the biome configs. So each biome in your world has different settings you can change individually. I'll just go through them one by one. This is one of the settings for my underground cave, underground ocean world. So each one of these I had to change some settings, which I'll get into later. Anyway, biome size is pretty much what you think it is, how big the biome is compared to the other biomes. This is all relative to the generation depth, so depending on how you set your generation depth, it'll be how big they are in-game, but this is how they big they are relative to the other ones. Biome rarity is how rare they are compared to the other biomes. So 100%, if all your biomes that you're using in the map, if this is set 100%, then there'll be an equal chance to spawn each of them. If one is 50 and one's 100, there'll be a one-third percent chance to spawn this one, and two-thirds to spawn the other one. So yeah, biome color is what they use for the map when you use TC map. You can put this whatever you want. Generally, I don't, use, I don't change this unless I'm trying to do some debugging, but yeah. What biome you want to use as rivers in this biome? Pretty much, unless you're doing some crazy stuff, just leave that to either to river, but I don't want rivers, so I just get rid of it. Place file name is what you change it to if you want it to be different when it actually generates. I'm not exactly sure how you'd use this, but yeah, you could do that if you want. This is very interesting. Island biomes. It doesn't mean it's an island out in the ocean. It means it's inside of a bigger biome, so it's surrounded by another biome. That you just list the biomes that this will spawn inside of. So yeah, if you put jungle, then there'd be um, the jungle biome, and then this would be a small biome inside of that. But we don't want that for our purposes. And same thing for border. It'll work the same way. You'll list the biomes you want this to border, and it will just form a small border around it. Uh, you can use this to create mountain ranges, valleys, hills, a bunch of different kind of crazy stuff. I used it for my server to create cliffs, and I used a couple islands to make valleys and mountains. And not border nears, which biomes you do not want it to be a border next to. This is important if you're like, if you say you have world height bits and terrain, I mean the world config that I and I, if you set that to 8, then 0 will mean your average height will be 64. This will change it a lot. It'll raise the whole biome up, the average level. So it's not necessarily the peaks, this is just the average height that it starts generating at. Volatility. This is some tricky values. You don't want to pick these too extreme. Because if you do, you'll start getting really ugly stuff. I mean, sometimes you need it for specialty stuff, but a lot of the time you just want to leave it. Because, I mean, zero is not very crazy, and it's not very flat. It's not perfectly flat at zero. If you want perfectly flat, you're going to want to go very negative, but... Some things like 0.3, it's a little bit of ups and downs, hilly. You get up to 1 and it's sort of getting crazy a little bit, but yeah. So max, max average height and max average depth. These are some of the trickiest ones to understand. Um, pretty much, there's a good drawing. Let me find that drawing. One sec. Okay, here's that picture. Um, this is from a random terrain control tutorial I used on the internet. Anyway, you can see that each one of these hills each one of these lines is the different max average height setting. So the higher you put max average height, the more extreme it will make your slopes. And the lower, the higher you make max average depth, the more extreme it will make your your tips. So it'll make them bigger and more pronounced. That's pretty much that. It's just sort of difficult to explain. Anyway, back. Volatility 1 and Volatility 2 are another just volatility settings. They're similar to just biome volatility. They're a bit more specialized. It's sort of confusing how they work. I'm not 100% sure. You can tweak them if you want it a bit more random. Same with volatility weights. I generally, honestly, I just leave these alone. I don't have much of an issue. If I want to do something really crazy, I do it with this and this. Disable biome height is pretty much meaning that it's not going to generate like a normal Minecraft world. It's not going to generate with a, a top. It'll just place blocks randomly anywhere in the whole range of the thing. And the, where it places these blocks is totally dependent on this, the custom height control. This is a very important thing for my underground ocean map since 
there's no surface, it's all caves. Anyway, yeah, the table biome height means it'll be nothing, it just places blocks randomly all around the world. If you want to see what this does for yourself, just keep all, just generate a new terrain control world, leave all the settings the same except this, and put this to true, and then you'll see what I mean. But anyway, then custom height control. It's used along with this, generally. You can use it with without this, but generally you use it with it to create anything from underground caves, floating islands, big mountains, anything you can think of, honestly. And what it means, pretty much how it works is, the bigger the number is, each one of the, okay, each one of these numbers controls a certain layer of blocks. Um, not many, it's just like seven or eight layer, seven or eight blocks at most. And it, the bigger the number, the higher the chance the blocks will spawn there, and the lower the number, the lower the chance blocks will spawn there. Zero means, I think it's 50-50, but it's, you just gotta play around with it, honestly. Like, you can see, the negatives, this is the bedrock area. Here's my underground ocean. I have negatives here to make sure that it's open. Here the numbers get bigger to create the upper cave. Here's to the upper roof. Here there's the upper cave and then it goes all the way up solid to the upper bedrock layer. So you could play around with this, make some really cool stuff. And with some other settings you can do like floating islands or... Yeah, that's the other map I did. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Service block ID. This is how you can change your whole world how it looks. This is the block ID of the block that will make up the surface of your map. So, stone, I said it as. Normally it's grass for plains, forest, every other biome. But I changed it to stone because it's totally cave. And stone to surface, like exactly, like dirt and plain biome. Or like sandstone in the sandstone biome. The desert biome. Replace blocks. This is what we use. Like, say you want all your stone from layer 10 to bedrock to be obsidian. Then you would go, um, you would go, uh, stone, then zero, 10. And that would replace all your stone to obsidian from zero to 10 Y level. But yeah. Anyway, I use this to replace all the stone to the um, silverfish stone from layer 1 to 79. And all obsidian, to, I don't think I use this, but this is from an old thing, but it would change all obsidian to stone from level 1 to 84. But yeah, you can use that to replace certain areas. You could make layers in canyons, and with the upcoming 1.6 update, you could put like hard clay layers in like the Grand Canyon kind of thing and make it look cool. Stuff like that. World water level is either you want to use the world lo water level you put in World Conflict of I and I or the custom one you set here. Pretty self-explanatory. And this is the like the water level you want in your map. Vanilla Minecraft has it at 64. Mine's at 32 for the underground ocean because it's much lower. Generally, this is at zero. I'd never put this above zero. Don't know what happens if you put it above zero. Wouldn't recommend trying it. You could if you want, but yeah. Water blocks the block you want to fill water with. You can do other stuff, like you can use lava if you want a totally lava world. You can use either blocks even if you want block-filled oceans, you don't want water on your map. Ice, same thing, whatever you want. When it spawns ice in the map, this is the block it would spawn. Biome temperature. If you put this below, I don't know, is it 0.1 or 0.2, you'll get a snow biome. And the snow will come down when it rains. And biome wetness is, if you put this too low, it will never rain in your biome, so you might not want to... Yeah, it's up to you. I'm not sure what values they are, but... Yeah. Sky color. I'm not sure... These sometimes seem to work. I think this only works on this terrain control client. So you might want to not worry about that one that much. Water color changes the water. I know. Th I do think this does work in vanilla, and I think this does too. I don't change these generally. If you want to make, like, the swamp water color and then the swamp grass color, you could change those. This is to affect if it's the actual color or just the multiplier changes with the standard grass color. Again, I don't really touch these much. Foliage color, same with leaves. If you want jungle leaves, um, ice plains leaves, changes the color. And the same thing with the multiplier. Then the resources this spawns. Um, small, this is all the different things that will spawn in the world that are in addition to just the terrain. So small lakes, so you know what, you know the plain biome, there's these little water pits, there's those little lava pits in the deserts, these are those. 
underground lakes. Or just when you're digging, you'll see those little underground lakes. Those are those. And like it'll explain what they are. The block, the, the block data, the frequency, rarity, min, max, and altitude. So it'll be a block of water. Frequency of 4, rarity of 7, min, min, 8 to 120. Then dungeons. I bought my dungeon right in this map just because I wanted to be more dungeons. So just the settings that are shown there. Min, I mean, frequency, rarity, min, max. Then all the ores. Um, see, I had custom ores in this map. I had melons spawning as ores, emeralds spawning as ores in the map. Same with dirt and gravel, because you want those dirt, underground dirt and gravel, and I put clay deposits too. Actually, second thought, that should be there. And that should be like that. Okay, anyway, yeah, it's the um, block, and if you wanted, you put like data there, but I don't need it. Size. How big do you want the deposit to be? Frequency. Rarity. So frequency is how many times it tries to place it. So that's, if the higher this is, the more it will spawn. And this is the percentage that it will actually do it. And generally you want to keep it, you can mix these together. The lower they are, the less it will spawn. The min max altitude will spawn, max altitude, and what block it will spawn in. You can put other blocks you want it to spawn into. So you can do that with pretty much anything. Any ore you want to spawn underground, above ground, you can choose. Like I use this in my other world for the server to spawn stone ores inside of grass to make it look like it was different kinds of terrain there. Yeah, and this is the place of vines, one other ore. Underwater ore is when you want like the clays underneath the oceans, sand underneath the ocean. Custom objects, these are tricky. Yeah, junky custom objects use biome. That means all the BO2s, I think this only works for BO2s, that have it defined in their BO2 config to spawn in this biome, which in this case is ocean, it will um, automatically use spawn those in. That's what maybe have to do another video about those, those are complex. Plants is the plant, like pumpkins, you could even have melons randomly spawn, I use jack-o-lanterns randomly spawning in the nether. Again, how it works is up here. And then this is like in the canyons, you know, you get the water and lava on the side of the canyons that trickle, that have deposits down, you can spawn those in with those. I never touch the saplings. Sometimes you can get them to like grow to custom trees. It's always been really buggy for me, so I honestly didn't use it. I never had a need for it. But yeah, you can set that up. You can read this. Sapling, sapling type tree, and then what kind of chance it will be to grow which tree. But it explains it right there custom objects that will be spawned when you use the biome key or keyword. So yeah, if you use use world here, then it will spawn the ones in, but the biome, it will spawn these in here. I have issues spawning biome, spawning custom objects in since terrain control updated, but yeah, I'll make another video about that. Pretty easy, so explanatory, if it's strongholds are enabled or not, nether fortress is enabled or not, that shouldn't, I don't know, village is enabled or not. The rarity of mine shafts. So, like, you could have a lot of mine shafts or a little mine shafts. As it says, wood and chaos. I would not recommend putting it up to 100. It would take forever to generate. And rare buildings, like, if you want the desert pyramids, jungles, swamp huts, you can set that there. And mob spawning does not work on a depot pass. Well, anyway. If you made a custom biome, you could set the different kind of mobs that spawn. I never played with that, and it only works with the terrain control plugins installed, which it won't be because I'm going to make it a single player map, so I don't have that. But anyway, I hope you guys helped found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you want to see something else, didn't understand something. I'll probably put up part four, BO2 objects, BO3 objects, pretty soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.